Today, opening the mail and talking cassettes. All that and more coming up on Friday Night Vinyl. Hi, my name is Frank. It's Friday. That means it's time to kick back, relax, and talk music. I've been thinking lately, why am I doing these videos? What do I hope you guys get out of these videos? And ultimately, uh, I hope I inspire you to discover new music, improve your listening experience, and have fun doing it. So let me know if I'm achieving those goals. Anyway, I got a couple packages in the mail I want to open. Plus, I want to show you a few cassettes I recently picked up at the thrift store. Okay, let's do the thrift stuff first. For those of you who are not out at the thrift stores right now or hitting garage sales or flea markets, um, you really should. This is the time of year, at least in this part of the world, where people are cleaning out their garages and basements and doing that sort of spring cleaning and, and donating all this stuff. So it's a prime opportunity for collectors like you and I to uh, to grab the stuff. Um, it's definitely getting harder lately, I find, um, at the thrift stores anyway, to find records that are worth while, worth picking up. I just think that there's so many, there's so much demand for those that um, some thrift stores aren't even putting them out on the floor anymore. There's also professional pickers who are going through and grabbing this stuff as soon as it comes out. But there still uh, is some good stuff to be found. I got four cassettes. I got these at Value Village. 99 cents each. Um, this is Traveling Wilburys Volume 3. I, have, I haven't heard this one yet. Um, I have the first, I have a couple Traveling Wilburys albums. I'm assuming this one is the third, so I look forward to checking that out. Um, I got one of my favorite Aerosmith albums. I did not own this one on cassette. It is uh, Toys in the Attic, and this one features great uh, tunes including Walk This Way, of course, and Sweet Emotion. Everyone knows those uh, big, ten inch, big 10 inch record as well. I also got I Mother Earth. This was their second album. I Mother Earth was a Canadian band often referred to as Canada's Jane's Addiction from the 1990s. A fantastic album. Uh, if you're into that sort of alternative rock, uh, funky, groovy, uh, but really catchy as well. I highly recommend you check out the first two I Mother Earth albums. After that, singer Edwin left. I would suggest kind of things kind of went downhill after he left, but um, judge for yourself. And finally, I got one of my favorite Tom Petty albums on cassette. Oh, this one I didn't. Um, where did I get this from? It's got an Into the Music price tag. Into the Music is a local store here. It says three bucks, but I'm sure I would not have paid three dollars for this. I'm sure I got this one at the thrift store as well. Uh, for 99 cents it's got refugee one of my favorite petty songs here comes my girl even the losers don't do me like that like this is one hit after another so a fantastic album as well um, and this is the time of year where i'm listening to a lot of cassettes i'm not sure about you guys but when i'm in the garage i got a bluetooth on the stereo there but i don't want to stream music i want to listen to cassettes and there's certain cassettes there's certain albums to my ears anyway that just sound better on cassette and i've said this before and um sure it's nostalgia um, but it's also i just think my ears i just got used to hearing certain albums on cassette just the sound of them um, oddly, I would say is, is soothing. So um, yeah, I'm listening to a lot of cassettes lately. So these are going to be uh, in the queue next. All right, let's get into the mail. I have two packages. The first one, speaking of cassettes, I believe is cassettes. And this comes all the way from Australia uh, from my pal Drew Scott, who I met through doing YouTube videos. We talk back and forth, and he has sent me something before. This is the second time he sends me a package. So, uh, Drew, I'm, I'm grateful for this. Um, and from Australia, too. I mean, that is not cheap. And how cool is it to get mail? I was going to say from halfway across the world. This is not even halfway across the world. This is literally the other side of the planet. So, Love it. Thank you very much, Drew. And I'm very curious to see what you sent me. And let me know again if there's anything you were looking for, Drew. I'll happily keep an eye out for it. Let's see what uh, Mr. Scott said. He said, hey, Frank. There's a note. Hope you and the family are well. Recently, I was checking out the marketplace on Facebook and saw a local band promoting their cassette demos. I picked up a few copies. Always happy to help out local artists. They are thrash metal. You can check them out on Facebook. Have a great one, mate. Your friend and fan, Drew. Thanks very much, uh, 
true. So this is a local band from Australia. These are demo. That's kind of cool too, that bands are putting up material on cassette again. That's how, when I was playing in bands in the um, early 90s to the mid 90s, all up until the early 2000s, uh, we used to put out cassettes. So I guess it was CDs later, but cassettes were so much cheaper and putting out a CD was out of the question. It was just so much more expensive. So here are the album covers. Uh, this band is called um, I can't even, I have a hard time making this out. Hypnosis? Him, not hypnosis. Hypnosis. Demo. And this one is Sarfost? Sarcoma, I believe. So yeah, definitely looks like thrash. Almost looks like potentially death metal. So I'll definitely give you this. Okay, so it says in here, stay evil and support death metal underground. So I answer my own question. Definitely death metal. I can kind of tell by um, looking at some of the graphics there. So, Drew, thanks a lot, buddy. I look forward to checking these out in the garage. And finally, I got a package from Dan Getz out of Golden Lake, Ontario. And a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, I was talking about how I was looking for an upgrade copy of uh, my Let's Dance album from David Bowie. I never even thought of this. I wasn't bringing that up. Um, to try and get any of you guys to send me a copy. That was not my intention whatsoever. However, Dan shot me a quick email and he said that he had a copy of this that he was um, happy to part with um, or willing to part with. So that was very nice of you, Dan. He sent it over this way. And also, a few of you mentioned that the Mexican pressing of Let's Dance is just phenomenal. So I wanna pass it on in case any of you have access to that. Apparently it sounds great. You know, it's just a great sounding album overall. The production is second to none. So, as expected, it is a copy. There's a note first. The notes are always the best part. There we go. Uh, what does it say? Picked up a White Wolf Standing Alone LP in Ottawa this week. 9.99. Nice condition. You might like their documentary on YouTube. I'll check them out. White Wolf was a Canadian hard rock band from the 80s. Uh, so as far as this album, he says vinyl's pretty good, needs to be cleaned better, cover is not mint, but I am more into condition of vinyl, as am I. Thanks, Dan. So, there we go. Actually, in fairly decent shape. And, let's look at the inside. Yeah, same inners that I have. And we'll take a close look at the record. And it's a bit dusty, but um, not bad at all. And in terms of if I had to um, grade this just by visually looking at it, it is a very strong VG plus, uh, if not better. So that is fantastic. Dan, I really appreciate this. I'm gonna give this a spin and I'm extremely grateful. Thanks a lot, man. Ah, I'm tongue tied. Thanks a lot, man. Cheers. All right, 33ers, short and sweet. That is this week's, or this episode of Friday Night Vinyl. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you want to talk about cassettes, I'm happy to chime in. Otherwise, I hope you have a fantastic Friday, a fantastic Saturday, and a great weekend. Until next time, dear 33ers, keep on spinning.